memories can be captured within a snapshot. And what better way to share them than with a slideshow? Video Studio's Movie Wizard spices up your slideshows by adding professional looking opening and ending sequences as well as animating photos using its smart pan and zoom feature. Before using Video Studio to create your photo slideshow, it's recommended to first make your photos look their best. You can use PaintShop Pro Photo X2 to quickly fix any imperfections or to enhance your photos with professionally designed frames and decorative elements. So let's open PaintShop Pro Photo and we can say file, open and we can select the photos we want to get. Now I've already put one photo here as an example. This was taken at the Calgary Stampede which we visited in Canada. So in the Learning Center palette on the left here you can see there are many options for quick and easy fixes of your photos. So let's select Smart Photo Fix. Now here we can make our overall brightness brighter or darker. Uh, we can enhance the shadows. This is very good for pulling out detail in shadows that you couldn't see otherwise, as you can see there, for instance. And we can also bring down or up uh, highlights so that they don't blow out, like there. Okay, but if you don't want to fiddle with all this, you can simply say Suggest Settings and PaintShop Pro will analyze the photo and it will give you a suggested setting that will actually make a big difference in how your photo looks. So there we go, a really beautiful photo that pops. Now we're going to add a picture frame to our photo, for just for an eye-catching sort of final touch. So here we're going to click on Text and Graphics, Add Frames and Photo Edges. So in this dialog you can see I can select and preview any kind of frame for my photo. And say OK. Alright, and now that gives a very nice effect. So now I can simply go and save my photo. We are now ready to go to Video Studio Pro X2 and select the Movie Wizard. Now we select Insert Image and here we can preview our photos and select them all in one go and say Open. Alright, so this is our Calgary Stampede Parade and, and I can see each one of them there and I can arrange the order of the photos. I can move them around. I can select several at one time and move them to a different position. Okay, I can also rotate photos left and right if they've been rotated. Here in the library I can also see more of my images. Alright, now we click Next and here we have our slideshow templates. As you can see, there's a range of very cool, very nicely designed templates that we can use. And they provide an opening sequence and a closing sequence for each of our projects. So I'm going to go to HD Slideshow and let's select this one. Let All right, preview that. Okay, there's a screen and things are happening and here I can modify the title by simply clicking there and go to Calgary and feed. Notice that it's rotated. I can change it a little bit and I can also click here to get the text properties, change the text color to something a bit more bright and also change the font to something that's a little more useful. Click OK. Make it a little smaller. There we go. So full control. And then I also can see my end title here. And I'm going to just leave that as is for the moment. Alright, and here I can make sure that Smart Pan and Zoom is selected. And I can fit the slideshow to the image duration.
So Smart Pan and Zoom very simply gives you motion across your images. So as you can see, automatically it has put some motion on it, panning and zooming across the photo with transitions. And that just really makes your slideshows come to life. And as you can see, they've also added music to it automatically, background music. Right, now I'm going to click Next. And here I can create a video file to put my slideshow just on my PC or maybe upload it to YouTube. But I want to share my few pictures with my friends and my family or with grandma. So I'm going to create a DVD. Okay, and when I click here, I'm going to select DVD. Notice that you can output to various formats here. Okay, so it automatically puts my slideshow movie into the timeline here. And I go next. And here I can choose a template for my DVD. I'm going to just choose this one. Modify this title to say Calgary Stampede. And modify this one just to say Play Slideshow. Okay, and now I can edit here. I can change the background music. Or I can remove the background music. I can put another background image or video on there. Modify any way I like, including the font settings. But that's okay. I'm going to keep it like that. And I can also add menu in and menu out transitions, which are a great way to smooth over the way that your uh, video changes when you click on a menu. So let's have a look at that on a preview. Click here. Okay, and that's as simple as that. Now I can just go click Next again and click Burn and it will start encoding and burning my DVD. So there we go. A very simple and quick way to create a dynamic slideshow that you and your family will enjoy watching.